Hey everybody, it is Billy and VTUP in the Motor City Throwdown. I'm out here with Sammy today. We are safely away from the river. You do not want to get close to that river right now or anytime, but really it is flowing super hard from Lake Isabella down to Bakersfield. And we're gonna look at it today. We're gonna to go through the river. I wanna kinda of go up to Kernville and kinda of look around that area, maybe go up further. But uh, yeah, it is really flowing. This is kind of a, I don't wanna say a record year, but it is definitely a year with a lot of water and it's still coming down, it's crazy. So we're gonna look at it and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't been up here in a while. So hang on and let's take a look at the Kern River. Woohoo, we're the edge. Some of these rocks I guarantee are hanging on by a thread and when they come down, it's pretty powerful. And you can see they've collapsed right here and they, every once in a while they hit the road. So it's pretty crazy, look at that rock. I'm gonna zoom in on this, look at this. Look at this, I'm gonna show you this one rock. Look at this thing. Oh no, let's get out of here. So we've made it to the top of the canyon to Lake Isabella and they've been doing quite a bit of work on this dam. I haven't seen it in a while. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of work done to it. Uh, you can really tell from the backside, but you can really see the water, how high it is. It's really nice. This is uh, a lot of times I think I've driven by here and it's nothing, it doesn't look anything like this. So lots of water. So we're down here at the water's edge. Um, I guess this, is there a marine over there? I think there's a, a launching ramp heading to Kernville, but uh, I wanted to come down and just look at everything. You can see the oaks, right? They're in the water. And um, yeah, it's really nice. You can rent uh, houseboats, I think. There's one that says rent me on the side. So I would just imagine that's a rental. And uh, water, pretty comfortable. It's prob probably about, a, ooh, I don't know, 75-ish maybe. So it's not as warm as some of the lakes, but it's definitely not cold. Feels pretty good. You can see, man, the power poles are in the water. This lake looks massive. Like every time I've driven by here in the past, it's a lot less than this. You'll see a lot of land everywhere, but sorry, it's a little windy up here, but you can see the water is like super high. made it up to Kernville and uh, you can see here we actually look like we got people that are going to do a little tube raft and okay it's moving uh, pretty decent through here a lot of people will take tube rides down this I don't think it's too crazy but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong um, I think the, there may be some like raftings that come through here too but uh, yeah I mean it's moving pretty good right and I would imagine this one, I'm not gonna go down there and touch it. I've actually done some fishing here with Steve Merlo and his wife Candy. That was a lot of fun. Actually a lot of trout in here. You'd be surprised. Big ones too. And it's probably just gonna go right over. We're probably gonna keep it close to the shore. Right to mom over there. Oh. Wanna go into the Kernville drugstore? No. You don't wanna go in there? Why? It's drugs. They don't do drugs, come on. Uh, whoops, I think they're closed. Oh, they're open. After you, my lady. Whiskey Flat Antiques. What do you think? I like antique shots. All right, let's do it. I know you do. Oh, man, they got antiques right here, too. It's like antiques headquarters. All right, let's go. Let's take a quick look inside the uh, Kernville Saloon here. I'd imagine this thing's been here for a long time. I'll see here. I know this place is packed when they have their... Uh, Big event in here. Whoops. All right, so we are here inside the saloon and it was remodeled not too long ago. It was probably built in the 40s, but uh, really cool, man. I love this vibe right here. It's got the super historical feel to it. Chai chairs, really cool. And they have a uh, pool area, all that good stuff. So that's a lot of fun, man. I love it. I talked to the owner, the guy who actually rebuilt it and uh, yeah, really fun. Here's one of the uh, the whitewater voyages, right? So they'll pick you up here in this bus. They'll take you up and drop you off. That's a lot of fun, man. I gotta go out here and do it again. I went, I think a couple years ago. And it was a lot of fun. So definitely an awesome year to go white whitewater rafting for sure. So we're about, uh, I don't know, 
five, 10 minutes north of Kernville now. And this is the water that feeds into Kernville that goes into Lake Isabella that works its way down to Bakersfield. This is cold water, you know why? Because this comes from the snow melt. So this is gonna be a lot colder than the water flowing out of Lake Isabella, right? That looks like a little cool thing when you get in the water. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the river rafting they do, they'll come down here. This will be part of some of their runs, but uh, it's pretty mellow through here. I don't know, I shouldn't say that, but it's up pretty good though. And this is a really cool place to hang out if you wanna just come hang out. I don't think I would venture too far in there, but I mean, you put your feet in right here. I don't think you have too much. I don't wanna, you don't, I don't wanna say anything, dude. But anyway, it's, the water is a little chillier though, for sure. But it is fun though. They have like a lot of beach area and there's actually a lodge right beyond these trees, behind the back, there's a little lodge you can stay at. So you can camp out here too, or stay out here overnight. So we're about a half hour north of Kernville, and this is the North Fork Kern River. And you can see, man, this stuff is really pouring in. That's really cool. I would take the drone through here, but it's a little bit of a wind going right now, and I don't want to donate it in there. But, so what do you think of that, Sammy? Is that pretty crazy? It's pretty flowing a lot, right? You can't go tubing at all. You cannot go tubing in here at all. And you don't want to go any closer than this right here. But it is beautiful. Look at that little waterfall right there. That was a lot of waterfalls. And that water is cold, I guarantee it. See, it goes all the way down. See people here. So this is a really cool steakhouse right here, if it's still open. I'm not sure if it is. It's called McNally's. I've eaten here before. And it's pretty good. So I wanted to show Sammy this. This is in McNally's right here. It's really cool. They have this little Western uh, town they built. You can see it's got a, all these horses and everything. It's really cool. Four, oh, they got a couple more in here. Yeah, they're open from like four to nine, I think. Four to nine, is that when you guys are open? Uh, yeah. Four, on Friday through Sunday? Or Thursday through Sunday. Thursday through Sunday, okay. And until uh, after the three day holiday, they will go Friday. Okay. So if you ever want to come up to the steakhouse, here's the hours right here. Boom. Definitely worth it. Like if you're up in the Kernville area, worth coming out here and checking out. It's a lot of fun and the food's really good. So here's a little bit of that river flowing into the Kern River. Super beautiful. Look at that. Super clear. And then you have this little water slide here, which I'm sure people do. What's that? Can we do it? No, we got a lot of stuff to see today. Maybe someday we'll come back and just do water slides up. I know, you'd be surprised, it gets pretty slippery, but super cool. So there's a lot of smaller brown trout up here in the, around the Kern River in the top and these like kind of small pools. It's super slippery. It is super slippery. You have to be really careful because that's all algae right there. It's invisible. It's invisible algae? Yeah, you gotta be real careful. I love the way, man, that feels so cool right here, too. Oh, man, it's so good. I want to I I go over there. Go All right, over there. you want to go up a little more? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I actually brought, I shouldn't even say this, but I did bring my burner out. And if you know what that is, you know what it is. But you just got to be careful out here. Walking by yourself. Right What's that? Yeah, well, kind of. They got better ones, though. So. If there's a super good one, can we go on it? Not today. I brought, I brought my swimsuit. I know you did. Not today, though. So check out this little oasis. This is actually from that area. That shoe. Yeah, there's a bunch of trash here. That's what kind of sucks. There is some trash here. But it's beautiful. And it's probably, it might came from upriver and flow down here. Because I'd imagine that this place is just jamming when the water was really moving. But dude, this water is like super clear. And this is, of course, the bridge that goes over it. I want to go in the water. Yeah, it's so nice. You could literally float out here and have a good time. I think a lot of people do. But look at that little oasis. Isn't that cool? Is that not awesome or what? I want to go here. You want to go there? You put your feet in the water? 
No, I want to go swimming. You want to swim here? That's so cold. You know how cold that water is? That's warm. That is not warm. Feel it. Let me see. What do you think of this place? All these little waterfalls? Okay, next time we come, we'll go here. So we are on the Johnston Bridge. I just asked a couple people and they confirmed that this is the Johnston Bridge. And uh, it's really cool. It's probably a little too breezy for me to take the drone up, but I can walk over it, right? We can walk over it. I'm gonna do the first ever cartwheel. No, the you're not. Bridge. We did the first ever cartwheel on the Johnston Bridge. All right, let's see it. Whoa! That might be the first one ever. Okay, so let's take a look. So I was driving down the road, check this out. See that power line? I was like, why is the power line going to the ground? Because a rock slide happened and took it out. Can you see that? It goes all the way back there. I don't know if you can see that, but that rock slide right there came down and took out the power line. And now that power line is under that rock right there. That's wild. Okay, so we're about, about a minute past Johnston Bridge to South Creek Falls. This is really cool. You can see the top here, right? Let's get the drone hooked up because I want you to see this. It's really cool, right? You want to show it to him? Let's do it. I want to show you this place real quick. It's the Quiet Mine, Sequoia Lodge, Fall and Retreat. Uh, I want to show it to you because a while back I came here and the uh, the guy showed me some unbelievable waterfalls. You're really going to like this. It's super cool. 
these are the lodges you can stay at pretty cool i mean if you like being out in the great outdoors and being kind of out in the wilderness a little bit i think you can take rvs in here too it's a pretty cool place wow what do you think of that Careful. Yeah, it's really slippery. No, all the water like slide. It's, yeah, it's algae. So that's why those water slides are the way they are. They're so slippery because of all the algae in the water. So this is really cool. Uh, it might be a drop off for the river rafting, right? It's got this like grippy stuff right here. And then it comes down to a really cool, like sandy beach. That'd be actually be a pretty cool spot to hang out for the day. And it looks relatively safe, you know, as long as you don't get out there. But this is really nice. But you can see that the water's moving. All right, so we're gonna check out French Gulch. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put the drone by the sounds of things up in the air, but let's check it out, who knows. But uh, let's take a look at it. So my original plan was to get the drone in the air to give you guys some really cool footage, but they're doing some practice missions with the helicopter, and I don't feel like going to jail, so I can't put the drone in the air. But you can see how low this, I mean, how high the water is. I mean, look, that's the middle, it's like an island. The parking lot's an island out there see that right there wild how much water is in here right now so this bridge really shows how high the water is if you've ever driven by here before and seen people playing around in the rocks way down there well look at it now isn't that crazy yeah, uh, it's definitely up really high. I mean, there's a lot of like big boulders that are down there that people usually hang out. I've even seen it dry through here, but we'll go the other way too. I want to show you, I want to get hit here, but I'll look at the other side of the bridge too, but you can see it's definitely full. So this is like really cool. Check this out. This is like coming from Lake Isabel. I think that goes down the river, right? And uh, no, this doesn't go down the river. I don't think it does. I don't know where this leads. I know I should know, but they didn't that beautiful. Talk about wanting to hang out here and swim. That's really cool. It's awesome. So if you are from Lake Isabella or around this area, you're probably aware of the French Gulch Marina and look how close it is to the road, dude. That's crazy. So let's walk out here. I figured we take a look. So you can see the road right back there, water all the way to the edge. So this area right here, 
is just before you get to Lake Isabella, well, when you first take a left to Lake Isabella, if you look over to the left, you see a bunch of granite. It's really amazing, all these granite structures that you can come out and people camp out here. It's really nice. It'd be a cool, cool weekend to come camp out here. You can do parkour. Huh? You can do parkour. Parkour? parkour? Okay. Don't, don't wipe out. Yeah, it's really cool. We'll go take a look at one more section over here. It's really neat. Man, look at this place. Isn't that surreal? Look at the rock structures here. So how about this for a beautiful water vista? Is that unbelievable? This is right before you get into Lake Isabella or right when you take a first left, you look to, to your left and you see a bunch of granite rocks. Well, this is an amazing rock structure. It's these smoothed out granites that water has ripped through for years. And it really puts these awesome, let me kind of zoom in here. You can see it puts these awesome shapes in the granite and this guy i'm going to show you here he's got it right because he's got a little thing here he's got some tubes they have this little like pond area here that's safe where you're not going to go flowing down the river and this water unlike the upper kern is warm because it's coming out of lake isabella there she is so super cool this is definitely worth the trip if you want to do some fun stuff and get you know for a little day trip out to some water area this is definitely worth checking out. It's not that far from Bakersfield. Well, we got a really fun time showing you this day. I mean, we could we could have had this like for multiple days, but there's so much to see right now. There's just water flowing everywhere. There's a lot of cool things, but you know, it's not that far from Bakersfield, wherever you're from, you can come out here and enjoy yourself. And uh, it's amazing, dude. I mean, people say there's nothing to do in Bakersfield. It's, it's not beautiful. I mean, dude, look at this place, man. It doesn't get any better than that. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. All right, anyway, thank you for watching our look at the Kern River, Upper and Lower, Billy and Sammy with Beach Top and the Motor City Throwdown.